Uh, the next question, Levi Ward. Dear Mr. Mantel, I was wondering if you have any good stories about Abdullah the Butcher. I have heard mixed things about him talking about how good of a draw he was, but at the same time apparently taking advantage of a lot of people. So just wondered if you gave your thought, uh, any thoughts on him, and thank you for your time, and really enjoy the podcast. Abdullah is a... Uh... He's a case study and being big. I had a match with him one time in Puerto Rico, huge. And Puerto Rico was known for huge, huge houses. They wouldn't go into an arena. They'd go outside to those big baseball stadiums. Maybe you get 20,000 people in there. And then they'd put ringside. I remember going to the ring against Abdullah and it's on tape somewhere. Of course, they've edited a little bit of it. But Abdullah, he just took over right away. That was his MO anyway. He just take over and just start beating the crap out of you. And I don't even know why they brought a ring in for Abdullah because he never got in it much. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we end up on the floor. We fight through the people. He just, he just beats my ass around the ring. Of course, he gets me bloody, and I start making a comeback on him. And what happened was that I had my bull whip in the corner, and I got my bull whip down, and uh, people they just they went nuts. So I laced him three or four times with the right after you hit him, you hear the pop. And he did sell that. He don't sell much. And then, of course, he took it with me and wrapped it around my, my neck and tied me up. And then somehow he got a hanger, and he put the hanger around there, and he tied me around the rope, uh, around the top rope. And, I'm, and it, I'm bleeding, and he's got me hung. If they'd have left me there, I, w- I, w- I would have probably – he had it pretty tight. So I would have probably been a lot worse than what it looked. But, uh, but when I was looking at the tape back, I noticed that they had edited out the part where I got the bullwhip. So I, I, you never see that now with the, the way the, the country is. I'm glad they edited it out because now they can't say, here's this white guy <laughs> beating the black guy with a bullwhip. You can't do that anymore. So, but yeah. And I do remember that Abdullah slammed me or knocked me down and dropped the elbow on me. Oh, he almost killed me. But see, he don't drop the elbow. He drops half his body across you. And he weighs over 400. And it kind of, it kind of stuns you, but and have, have I seen him take advantage of the guys? Not really, because he's got one style. He just beats you up till you kind of stop him. And then he'll let you stop him a minute, and then he goes right back to beating your ass. So his style doesn't change. Even the same style he would use with Stan Hansen, the same style he would do with Brody, same style he would do with Haku, anybody else, it's the same style. And – to get him to stop, he had to have respect for you. And most guys, he didn't have a lot of respect for. I guess not me because I didn't weigh anywhere close to he, what he weighed. So if you were big, he would, he would let you do some things. If you weren't, you know, you're on your own. 